Hi, Ken from Tanning Bed Prepare Guide. Capacitors, what do they do? You see in your tanning bed, you have like banks, lots of these capacitors when you have a choke ballast tanning bed, you know, with a big white, heavy uh, uh, ballast in there, or they could be looking like giant transformers if it's something larger. So, why do you have them? Well, in power, I mean, you, you most your you, your ballast have a bunch of or wires wrapped around an iron core. That's what's inside of those blocks. There is everywhere for each and one for each lamp or these giant transformers. They are bunches of wires around an iron core, just like this um, voice coil here on the speaker. You see, it's a bunch of copper wiring. Uh, wrapped around like that. That creates a magnetic field. When you build up this magnetic field and discharging it, when you have AC current, which is what comes out of a wall or out of your service from the street, you have a variating magnetic field that will have a charge and discharge. This charge and discharge um, creates a resistance on the system and that is what we call impedance. There's another video on that. Why it's doing that is because that it is skewing the time between voltage and current. I know, it's that's nasty. but. That's because that um, we have a we are dealing with a charge and discharge. So, say for the ballast, uh, there's actually a way to remember this. Uh, so, is this E is voltage? Uh, so it's Elise. And um, an E in uh, physics is voltage, and I is amperage. And so L is inductive, and C is capacitive. All right, so what that means is that when you have an inducted load, you have voltage coming before amperage. So amperage is gonna be delayed, if you will, compared to voltage. And with capacitance, you have the opposite. You have current coming before voltage. So, I, I recommend that you watch the video on impedance just to just to get a a, a, f a fundamental idea about this resistance so but what happens here is that um, the inductive load of the choke ballast makes the voltage go to come it's gonna, just gonna come in as normal. But because that we're charging up this, this magnetic field in the inductor, the amperage is gonna be delayed. The rise in amperage is not gonna be immediately because this magnetic field is, is working like a giant brake on it. And that's why that the capacitor, that thing just like, it's just waiting for power, it's empty, you know, it's like, come on electrons, let's, let's, let's come on in, you know, and, and so that's why that is, is opposite. It wants so much current in the beginning that, that, um, that it takes a while for the voltage to actually rise in it, and that's why the time-wise that is, that's gonna be a difference between the two. 
So because of these inductive and capacitive phenomenons, you have a time difference now between voltage and current. Where if you had a, just a regular resistor of some kind, like some kind of load, um, yeah, like a giant resistor, um, these two are always going to follow one another. And, and, um, and because of uh, DC doesn't have any changing in polarity out there, so this field is, being, is doing this, you also don't have this problem at all. So, it's not really a problem, it's just like you, you won't have this phenomenon happening. You can actually use it to your advantage, and that's what you're doing in your tanning bed lamp, is that you're actually using this inductor to, to start up. <laughs> We're getting way heavy here, but you're using it to start by utilizing that the current is coming later, because then you can spike a, a huge pow with voltage to get the lamp started, and then afterwards, this choke ballast will actually work as a giant uh, brake, like resistor, for the lamp. Um, so, really smart. Um, all right. Um, so yeah, so why do we have the capacitor bank in the tanning bed? That's why we're here. Um, well, when you have this effect, this this was the our inductor load. This is our choke ballast power voltage. Well, then you'll have the current coming in. 90 degrees later, like that. If you took on your power, on your load side of this choke ballast and put in a capacitor now that has the opposite effect, well, then you would pull back to here instead on your power. And what that does is that it centers it back to zero on your service. So you still have the, this um, effect from the ballast and out to the lamp that you originally want, but you don't want this blind effect on your service because then it will be hot, but the current is not fitting what's really happening and uh, that's that's what you'll experience that a, that a tanning bed will start to uh, load harder and harder and harder for no reason and the ballast are just getting hot the bed is not performing anymore and everything is just warmer and warmer and warmer that could be that your capacitors are wearing out because this blind effect is just making it skew over here and get um, a, a much, much stronger inductive load on, on your surface. So that's why you use the, the capacitor. I hope this made a little bit of sense. I know I flew around a little bit in it, but I hope that it still gave you an idea of what this is and how you can actually play with this I myself have done a lot of times on older tanning beds have added banks of capacitors to the existing ones because they still have capacitance they still have effect to pull the inductive load back uh, just not as much as they used to be so by adding more of them uh, you you can you can um, you can still maintain some of the old ones. So it's a little bit better order to just replace them, of course, uh, a cleaner and neater environment. Uh, but um, uh, yeah, <laughs> it's, a, it's a potential way of doing it. So Ken from Tanning Bed Repair Guide. Take care, guys. Bye.